Hello, everybody. This is James, and I got a new partner, a new co-host in this week. Somebody decided not to go to bed, so uh, thank you guys for joining us. Those of y'all that are coming in, we're going to give everybody a few minutes to show up. Yes. So Jessica will be here in a few minutes. So... Four people. Hello. Y'all say hello in the chat. I see people coming in. Hope y'all are doing well today. Uh, somebody type in the chat. Can you see me okay? And am I all pixelated or am I coming through clear? And do I sound okay? I'm working on some adjustments here. Hi, Michigan lady. Hello, Marie. Tamara. Hi. I hope y'all don't mind my new co-host that's joining me today. This little booger decided not to go to sleep, so he's going to join me over here on the live for at least a little bit. Hope y'all are doing all right. So Mama will be here in a few minutes. He'd been a little toot today. Doesn't want to go to sleep. So, <clears throat> hi, Mary. Nice of you to join us. He's cuter than me. He looks like me. He got my beautiful looks. Yeah, look at that. All these people saying hi. You can wave. Hi. You know how to wave. Oh, you can wave with the other hand. All those people saying hi to you. Yeah. Thing is, he's going to try, try to grab everything he could reach on my desk. Including the coffee. Can't let him get the coffee. He'll be up all night. Hi, Jennifer Hayes. Thank you for joining us today. No, 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 no. You don't need to grab that. So... Hope y'all are all doing well. Lori's going to join us in a little bit here in the chat. Uh, she's going to try to. She was having some internet connection issues, so she's not going to be able to join us on the live stream. Uh, but she did say she was going to try to be in on the chat. So hopefully we'll see you. Hey, Pilfer, James, how you doing? Douglas, hey, thanks for joining us today. Hope your dinner went well. And there's Jessica. Hi, guys. He's waving. Jesse, you gonna wave? Oh, he he was waving a you few were minutes waving ago. A, a minute ago, yeah. Yep. So we're gonna be doing our unboxing here in just a little bit. Um, have some cool stuff today. So we've been looking some things up. Nope, oh, you're gonna have to hold him. I can't manipulate things with my hands and juggle him at the same time. Be careful because he's already trying to grab everything. So I have the box that we did yesterday with all the pins. These are pretty cool. Uh, these are vintage Hallmarks. They're from uh, 1995 and 96. And they're, they sell pretty well on eBay. Mm -mm. Hi, Talbert's mom. Hi, Jennifer. And, but the big one, this one right here is a Santa Claus. This is actually a Nightmare Before Christmas. Nightmare Before Christmas Santa Claus. It's signed Touchstone Pictures. MR is the artist who created it. Um, these are a rare find from what I found out. And I saw, I have not found any sold comps, but I found them listed for $40 to $50 for this one pin. Hi, Talbert's mom. So I thought that was pretty cool. The rest of them, Hi, I'm still Pilfer. doing my research on all of them. But I thought that was really, really cool. That's like the best one out of that lot. Which one? The raccoon? No, 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 no. The Santa Claus. Oh, I still say it's a raccoon carrying the, the Christmas tree. It's a holly. Oh, it's a holly? Oh, I thought it was a Christmas tree. No, it's a holly leaf. Cool. 
See, it's a Oh, Halloween. I guess it is. I thought it was a Christmas tree. So, <laughs> anyway. Derailing our topic once again. Who's are you buffering? Doug, hi, Douglas. Are you buffering? I can't see it on my end. Uh, from because on my end on the stream yard it looks good, but if I'm buffering, y'all let me know down in the chat. Also, how does my audio sound? I'm hardwired in now. Hello, Tina Powell. How are you doing? Hi, Boatman. Boatman. Hi, Marie. Boatman. Hi, Mary. Hi, Tina. Jumping from one chat to the other because I just came from Tiffany's and you were over there, Boatman. Did I say already hi to Talbert's mom? I think so. I did. Talbert's mom, if I didn't say hi, hi. Hello, Marie and Justin. How are y'all doing tonight? Long Washington. We'll get to that in just a little bit. So we got the box right here from Creative Lloyds. We're going to open it here in just a little bit. We're gonna oh it right at the start. And that was interesting, wasn't it? Because we got a we got something something in last week and he was all excited. He thought it was his stuff. <laughs> we got so many stuff. packages in the last two weeks, and half of them were just crazy how they came in and yeah, like we had a bed we had ordered stuff. for the for the kids like Two, several three weeks, three weeks ago, and then all the stuff we ordered after that came in before the bed did. We were sitting there looking for that bed every day, and it finally came in. It's aired up, and now, of course, Emily doesn't mind it, but Jesse doesn't want to sleep in it because he wants to be sleeping with Mama. I don't think he's feeling too well, good lately. Yeah, he hasn't been feeling well the last few days. Who wants you to sign into bid? Oh, over at Tiffany's. Yeah, they oh, have a okay. registration to bid oh, okay. over on her auction. Stop. No more kittens. That's a smart move. Yeah, Marie needs to do some content on her channel. I'm subscribed over there, but I haven't seen any content. She's got more content up on Instagram, though. If y'all haven't followed Marie over on Instagram, look her up over there. She's got some good stuff over there. Yeah, I, I guess he might be cutting some teeth. I have no idea, but he's very clingy. He's been teething. He's been He's clingy. usually very self, self uh, does everything by himself. Well, that, and he's in a good mood as long as you let him do whatever he wants to do, but he keeps getting into things he's not supposed to get into, and like grabbing stuff that he's not supposed to be grabbing. So I uh, hope everybody's doing really well. Um, we have been having some fun. So um, you'll know that part of the reason why I had stopped doing videos so much was because I uh, broke my phone. So like two weeks ago, we went and got new phones. Well, today, me being the dumbass that I am, broke my brand new phone. <laughs> yeah, if anyone needs the insurance, James. <coughs> I've never cracked a phone before. It's great. And, hey, my old phone, that thing got dropped hundreds of times before it got broke. This one, the very first time it ever hit the ground, it shattered. And it wasn't... I wasn't even holding it. It was sitting on the counter and it just slid right off the counter and onto the floor and shattered. Don't give out my name. I don't have PayPal. Jane phone cases and insurance. Yeah. Yeah, I know. We were already look we were already looking into the phone cases, but we weren't gonna pay the outrageous prices that they had at the phone company. We were gonna order them on Amazon and hadn't gotten around to it yet. Yeah, screen protectors. Yes, 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 yes. I know. My old phone. See, I, I was kind of spoiled because our old phone was a Motorola Moto Z Force. 
and it was before Motorola got bought out by Lenovo, and they were really, really good phones, and they were shatterproof, and I could beat the crap out of the thing, and it didn't break. Oh, yeah, you could drop Man. the phone on top of the dresser. You could throw it, fling it across the room, and it would not break. That thing would not break. Hi, Creative Lori. <laughs> We're going to get to your unboxing here in just a little bit. That's interesting. Hi, Creative. Hi, Lori. Yeah. It, well, the f unfortunate thing is the way these phones are now with everything being touch screen, you break no. the screen and it doesn't work. Uh, at least this one doesn't. You know, I can't. I've got a lock feature on there because of the. Uh, some of the apps that I run for my business that are on there uh, require me to have higher security features on there. So I have lock features and other stuff on there and it won't take my lock codes and stuff to unlock the phone so that I can open it up and get into it. So I'm going to have to get my phone fixed so I can actually use it. Right. And of course I've got all my, all my businesses pretty much 90% of my business is run on my phone. So that's okay. I know we would have loved to have, have I would had have you loved to us. have had you, uh, but that's all right. We'll do this uh, the other way and just, you know, let you chat with everybody. I hope that they get your internet working. That sucks. Those outages out there like that. Um, uh, actually, I've already looked into it. It's going to be about 150 bucks for the labor and everything. The new screen, labor, and all is going to be about 150 bucks to fix it. So, yeah, it's going to hurt a little bit, but you know, we got to do what we got to do. I got to have my phone. Yeah, so. I still have mine. <laughs> Yeah, she hasn't broke hers yet. I've never Which broken my phone. Which is funny because the because Jesse he's always taking off with her phone and he likes to toss them. them and tossing stuff. And I'm surprised he had broke hers yet as easily as mine broke. You're just a little hard on your phones, I think. I didn't even do it. I wasn't even touching it. It <laughs> was on the know. counter. I wasn't even next to it. I was across the room. But I will say I missed my <laughs> moto. I wish I had my moto. I should have. I don't. Like I missed the Moto. the The reason I like the Moto is it has the mods that you can put on the back. It had a camera mod, which was really, really awesome. Mm -hmm. And it has the speaker mod. This it's got other mods too, but those are the two that I fell in love with. Part of those are the two reasons why I bought that phone. That speaker, especially since I watch a lot of YouTube on my phone, that speaker made it really good to be able to boost the sound so I could hear. <laughs> Because half these videos, I'm like sitting here, I'm trying to watch the video, but I can't because I got it up next to my ear so I can hear it. Yeah, those motos were great. I love But with that moto, I put that speaker on. I could turn that speaker up and I could I could even put that speaker on and listen to it in my car. And with the sound of the motor and everything, I can still hear it. Yeah. Uh, but unfortunately, um, Motorola, who owned that uh, moto, the motos, uh, I don't know if they bought the whole company or just the Moto division, but Lenovo still, now owns the Lenovo Moto. Lenovo was still popping up on mine though too. So it well, Motorola, been, uh, no, that was because Ma Motorola manufactured <laughs> our phones. All that happened after we got our phones. So, but our service is through uh, Verizon, not AT and T. Yeah, we have uh, Verizon. We can't get AT and T where we live. I mean, we could. But our service out here, Sprint doesn't get good service. AT&T doesn't get service. The reason we have Verizon is that's the only carrier that gets good service in our little town. So, yeah, um, you know, and I've got to have good service wherever I'm at. So, hi, Susan. I hope you're doing well today. Hi, Susan. But, you know, we've been doing pretty good. Been busy, busy, busy. Um, been working. I worked a lot on my eBay store today and worked on some cleaning and moving some stuff around inside my house. Uh, still got a long way to go, but 
Yeah, ours is a Galaxy, but it's the A51, so it's it's one of the lower end Galaxies. Uh, but it does everything that I needed it to do. So, yeah, you know, I just couldn't see spending a thousand dollars spending a thousand dollars on a phone that half of the features <laughs> that made it that expensive I wouldn't use anyway. Yeah, I didn't want to spend a thousand dollars either. So, I mean, I even looked at possibly doing an iPhone 11 just because they said that it's like one of the better cameras. But the camera on this one is honestly comparable to the 11s. Uh, the biggest difference is that the 11s do have the uh, low light features that this one doesn't have. But as far as the, the standard video quality and stuff, it's the, about the same pixel quality and stuff as the uh, 11s are. Yeah, everything's great upgrading to 5G and... That's something that's going to be. Well, Verizon out. has I mean, a just, suit coming out because they they listed as five G, but they're not going running on five G. Yeah, but the different networks are upgrading to five G now. The different phone companies are starting to upgrade their systems to five G oh, systems. Okay. So well, they haven't rolled out the five G in our area yet, but it's coming. Well, I just know that Verizon's getting just like everything. I mean, false advertising. Five years ago, everything was on three G, and we were just amazed at how great that was. Now, if you're on a three G network, that's slow. You're just like, who? What is this crap? And it's same thing with computers and internet speeds. You know. You know what, I Douglas? Mean, he was getting on to me about because you you're saying you got a, a thing. I wanted to I wanted to go on Amazon and get the case too, but since I didn't, I wanted to keep the little plastic thing. James gets the plastic stuff and he just throws it away. And they kept on taking my plastic out of my phone because I was like this protecting it. And he's like, it, it doesn't, doesn't protect, protect it. anything. It did protect it. The, no, the screen it a little bit. So no, if it drops, it maybe didn't. it won't be as bad. No. It well, does whose screen is that whose screen is gone and whose isn't so. that cheap thin piece of plastic does hey, absolutely I think it did. It. I think it did. So what you think y'all took, y'all took my of. plastic off and that was it. But I liked the plastic on there. I don't like using it without well, plastic until I have some kind of a leave uh, it on there. I didn't take it off. I know it, it slid off. So people kept on taking it off finally. I never took it, it off. Loosened it up enough that that I didn't, can't use it anymore. I just, I just always said you're, you're crazy to think that it does any good. It really didn't protect anything. Yeah, it did. No, it didn't. My thing from handprints. So there. Handprints are. There, you said anything. Off. You said anything. Plus, I was able to distinguish your phone from my phone too. Yeah, because that's the thing. We got identical phones, so it's hard to tell whose is whose. That was one of the things we were going to do with phone cases: get different cases <laughs> so we could uh, differentiate whose phone was what. Yeah. Yeah, I understand that, Douglas. Okay, let's get this show on the road. So, uh, but we got a lot of things we got working on. Uh, I'm working on some new content. Uh, I got some videos that we're going to be working on. Some of it's going to have to wait till I get my new phone done. But some of it, I'm already kind of finagling some ways to do it with the equipment that I have available without using my phone. So we're going to be updating uh, our channel. We're going to be doing, I've kind of figured out my schedule. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I'm going to be doing videos. Uh, and on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're going to be doing the live streams. Uh Right now, the main reason we were doing the live streams this late at night is so that the kids could be asleep. And well, this we see how it. that's working out tonight. Um, he's still not asleep, and he's not yeah. Even like the oldest tired. one's asleep at the moment. Yeah, everybody else in the house is asleep except for us. So yeah, but yeah, that's part of why we were maybe doing after this, this week because so he late. hasn't been feeling well this week. So hopefully by next week we can get on a better schedule. Yep. I'll have somebody, if he's awake on Thursday, I'll have somebody else take him for us. But. So uh, that's what our plan. I'm trying to uh, get some stuff sorted out in my unit this week. And as I'm going through my unit, I'm trying to pull some auction lots. And if I can pull enough to do one, I'm going to try to do another auction on Thursday for our live. Um, so we got that coming up. And then we're also just trying to, um 
sort out. I mean, I just, y'all, I saw the video the other day. I've got so much donation stuff and I've got to find a place to donate it. it says, uh, our, I've been looking into it. Our Goodwill's not taking donations right now. Um, uh, so I've got to find some places that I can donate stuff because I got to get some stuff out of my way. I can't just sit on it forever. Oh, hi, Matthew. Thank you for joining us. I appreciate you joining our live stream. Uh, yeah, we do these videos. Uh, we'll, we were just talking about it. We'll be doing an auction probably during our live on Thursday. Uh, I don't I'm know what time you. it's going to be yet. It may be at uh, 10 o'clock like this one, or it may be earlier in the evening. Uh, we're just kind of playing things by ear, and we're going to see how things go between now and then. I like it around here because, you know, it, anybody that has kids has settled the kids down for the most part, unless you're like me, who still has a little one who just wants to straggle. Yeah, most days he's asleep by now, but sometimes he just gets in a mood. So let's get this show on the road. Calm down. Stop trying to rush everything. <laughs> That's what they're saying. They're saying get get the show on the road. Come on. Let's go. So we got our box here from Creative Lori. I, I'm just a little excited. Sorry. She's always excited. Yeah, I'm excited because this is the one. Do you know what? All this stuff I ordered. He didn't even tell me that they ordered, that they came in. You want to know how I found out what they came in? You All the sleep. Well, anyways, he, he films it. Then he comes in and he brings the Christmas presents to the kids already. He was just so excited. I was like, why in the heck did you bring it to him? Those were Christmas presents. So he opens up everything that I got that I bought at the auction. And you I didn't, didn't even buy get... all that. Well, you know, I picked some of it out. At least he's waiting for the jewelry for me. Because oh. I didn't even see the stuff that. Uh... So it comes in. It's. Beautiful little tin. Oh, little nepper cookies. Plastic. It says, hi, James. Thank you for your purchase. I hope you love it all. Merry Christmas. Thank you so much, Thanks, Lori. Lori. That's beautiful. I think that's cute. That is cute. Gingerbread man. Gingerbread oh, you know who's going to take off with that already, don't you? You do, that's right? This is supposed to be I think, pink. Oh, look. Christmas pink. candy. Christmas candy. Are they good Daddy. to eat, Lori? <laughs> I put they this like out bread? of reach of diabetics. Darn it. You <laughs> must have read my mind. I was thinking about popping one in my mouth. <laughs> All right. So let's see what we got. We got the pink lot, by the way, everybody. So yeah. Uh, she has several different colors available. These are all pink. These are new artisan rose quartz chips and beads, all sterling silver. Let's see if we can get it. Oh, that looks focused. pretty. I can see oh, that. Look at those. Those are nice. A lot of these pieces are not going to be up for resale. A lot of these are going to be Christmas presents. That's why we bought this lot. So I didn't say who it's going to be for. Oh, that looks familiar. Yeah, it actually looks like the last one that I got, which came from her. Oh. <laughs> the one that you got? Yes. See, the the last silver necklace I got from her was a silver cross that I got from Lori. It's a short chain, but I think we've got some longer ones. Look at that. That actually matches your cross that she got from Mother's I Day. I think my sister is going to end up with that one. Well, I wasn't going to say who was going to get what in oh. case they watch my live stream. Oh, she won't. They might see what we have, but nobody she knows won't. who's getting what. She won't watch it. Yeah, she, she won't watch it because she's she, too busy. <laughs> she won't watch YouTube anyway. But that's beautiful, Lori. Oh. So All there's right. your sissies. Some of these pieces are going to go to family. Some of these are going to go to our, our nurses probably. Because we have full-time nurses that help take care of my daughter. And we have three nurses, and they all tend to go above and beyond the call of duty to help us out when needed and when they can. They've been exceptional. Ooh, that's beautiful. 
What is that? Is that a bracelet? Maybe Lori, can... is that a bracelet? Do you know? It looks Maybe like a bracelet. It says, it says right it here. It looks like it's a bracelet. It says new simulated pink diamond set in 925 yeah, with a stainless steel polo bracelet. It's a bracelet. It's pretty. TGW 3.4 carats. Wow. That is gorgeous. I know who that's going to. I'm not going to say a word. Maybe. I know who that cup's going to. <laughs> and they come individually wrapped with little boxes, so they're already ready for gift giving. Next. Yes, up. we always try to remember the nurses, Susan. Um, I try to do something special for them every year. Ooh. This one's a ring. That's an interesting ring. A little looks like pom poms. I thought Mickey Mouse ears, but yeah, I guess you're right. No, they look like hair pom poms or the. I was focusing on your face now because. I can see it. It looks really pretty. Yep, this one is a new Austerian crystals set in platinum ionized over sterling silver size seven. Oh, so she even got the size on that. Good, that means I don't have to go find it. Well, that one won't it. fit me, so I can't take off with it. So it's a pinky ring for me. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh gosh, and you even did, did it right. Do y'all like my new ring? I don't know, but I'm kind of wondering about you now that I married you. <laughs> Why didn't you show all this off whenever I got married to you? <laughs> oh, I I don't know. The, uh, do, do we have any nurses at, right in here? Do, do y'all get overlooked sometimes for Christmas? And I usually try to do something for the holidays for them. Well, like if they work on a thanksgiving day with us we'll make sure that we provide thanksgiving meal they may not be able to have it until later on during the day with them but we always make sure there's like a thanksgiving meal or we'll do a hollow uh a christmas party too with yeah them. and you and know, i even get stuff to the teachers if we've I had can. periods of time when we didn't have a nurse either we couldn't get one or mm -hmm. they just didn't have any nurses available and like when jessica was sick all of our nurses were furloughed they were all put off so that they wouldn't get it sick and take it home to the kids. That means the whole time she was sick, I had the kids full time. That's part of why I disappeared because I had to take time and take care of the kids while she was sick. And we had to send Jesse away. And Jesse wound up having to go because I couldn't handle both of them. Oh, honestly. that's pretty. So pretty. we wound up having to send Jesse to my parents in San Antonio for a little while. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. That's all rose quartz beads. I know what that is. I, I recognize the uh, rose quartz. Um, oh, look at that. Big chunky chunks. That's pretty. Okay, that one might, might oh. stay with me. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Lori, that's a beautiful piece. I like it. I don't know when you left, Marie, so I can't tell you what all you missed. So this is a new Galilean rose quartz, 26 to 28 inch, TGW, 690 carat. <laughs> wow. It's a what? 690 carat. Gross. Wow. TGW is. Hi, Cajun reseller. Gross weight. Chris. So James will be getting extra gifts this Christmas, I guess. Um. He gets. I like this. What do y'all think? You look like a tribal, <laughs> like a tribal. I think you, it fits. Like 15 minutes ago. Oh, then you missed a lot, Marie. Uh, you missed some earrings, a ring, a bracelet. It's almost a whole unboxing. It was 15 minutes. Ago. Yeah, yeah. We'll we'll be sure to show the pieces again. I'll make him show it. Right now, he's showing the necklace. See, I think it goes well with my eyes. <laughs> okay guys i swear he doesn't act like this all the time i don't know 
He's got a crazy sense of humor. That's pretty. That is a gorgeous piece. And it's heavy. Is it? Let me see. Well, it's all stone, so stone is heavy. Oh, yeah, that is. No, Jesse. Jesse likes it, too. He's yeah. already trying to go get into it. Never mind. I'm not going to. I'm surprised he didn't steal the. Yeah, uh, he is. I, he's supposed to give it to me to model, but uh, yeah, real men wear pink. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't. You know, when he ordered the lot, he didn't even ask me what color I wanted. He just said, give me the pink one. Because I already knew the pink one was going to be mostly rose quartz stuff. Oh, yeah. And he knows I like rose quartz, so. And I like rose quartz. And he likes rose quartz. That's true. I do a lot of stuff with stones and stuff, and I have a ton of rose quartz stuff. So. Oh, congratulations, Marie. I'm so rose glad she got uh, accepted indeed. into nursing school. Her daughter got accepted into nursing school. Congratulations. What kind of nursing is she going to do? Is she going to do pediatric, or she does she know yet? Well. Wait. Yeah, we're going back through. There we go. So anybody that missed it, these were a pair of sterling silver earrings. They're uh, rose quartz chips and beads. We're just going back through everything for those of y'all that have been watching. Then this is a sterling silver cross. And that one matches the one that I gave Jessica for Mother's Day. Ah, RN. I've got one RN on shift right now for Emily. Yeah, but even, I mean, RN is great, but what kind of RN? Are they going to specialize? Is she going to specialize? Pediatrics, ER. Is she going to do emergency Maybe medicine? she doesn't know yet. Here, let's, let's spread this around a little bit more where they can. Okay, I'll try it on. <laughs> oh, why don't you put it on me to try on? <laughs> oh, no, I couldn't do that. I, might I guess not you're ever just get it doing on. all the modeling, huh? <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to abuse him for a second. He so don't punch it. me in the face again, y'all. I have never punched him in the face. He might deserve to be punched in the face, Look. but I've never done it. That is not how you display it. You go like this. Well, I'm trying to get it in the camera, too. All I see is hair. I know my hairy arms. <laughs> that actually looks kind of nice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe a guy's modeling the jewelry. It's supposed to be the woman. It's all right. <laughs> reverse, reverse Some men roles. are strong enough in their manhood that they don't have to worry about what other people think of them. So yeah, that, Susan that says it next time wax your arm. <laughs> you look like a Godzilla <laughs> monkey. You know, the well, little I've, baboon or whatever with the little thing. Okay. I've got razors over here that I got out of a storage <laughs> unit. I guess I could shave my arms. Yeah, look how and hairy my legs. Is. See, my arm's not that hairy. I could have pulled it off. See? And then we have this one. I'm not going to pull it all the way back out. I can't pull this off that one, James. Ring. You'll have to you'll have That's to. That's a sterling that silver size 7 ring. And again, oh, no, all of this stuff, okay. pretty much all of this stuff is going to be Christmas presents. So we're probably not going to be reselling any of these. Um... But I just thought it'd be cool to show off the stuff that we got from Lori. Y'all need to make sure y'all check out Lori's channel um, and come on for her auctions. Uh, Susan, I don't know. Sorry, everybody. Technical I difficulties. I, I was trying to grab another window and I somehow clicked out of the whole thing. So, copy. And paste. There we go. So, there's a link to Lori's channel. Make sure y'all check her out. Subscribe to her. She's got really, really great stuff. This is the second time I've bought lots from her, and I have been pleased with everything I've gotten so far. So, uh, she's got some really, really great stuff that she does, and she does a lot of sterling silver. Um, <clears throat> so, y'all check her channel out. Give her a subscription. Yeah, I came back. Yeah, I accidentally we do, clicked. We do, Lori. I went to click on my other window to get her link. I probably would have bought in your, what was it? The the one with the 
oh, what was that other lot that you had Lori on for Christmas in July? She had a bunch of lots. I know, but she had the one with the stocking right after it. I think it was a stocking. Oh, yeah, the little stocking gift bag. That she yeah, had. I almost bought that, but I was. Oh. <laughs> I just. She almost her. wanted to buy every single thing you showed. But yeah, yeah I, but, but I really wanted the, the I really wanted the the stocking thing, and I I I decided uh, I had just spent a little bit, and I still had you were still kind of early on, and I still wanted to see what everybody else had, so I kind of. Yeah, that's one of the things that's hard about. And, you know, being one of the first ones on because all of those is, that are that are kind of on a limited budget got to be careful and don't want to spend all their money right at the beginning. <laughs> like me, yeah, that was me. Because uh, honestly, we could have right, Mary? we could have we could have so dropped a couple of grand on that auction had we had it to spend. I mean, we saw so much great stuff from everybody, um, and T and Donna are going to be doing another one. Uh, We'll get our second chance too soon, huh? Uh, if y'all aren't, I think then. almost everybody here is. But if you're not already, make sure y'all go over to Auctions for You and subscribe to them and join their uh, auction list. Um, they're doing another big uh, auction thing for resellers for uh, the end of August to help us get steady, get ready for. Uh, Q4 and getting ready to go into the holiday season. So a lot of great reseller lots going up for sale. Uh, we know that there's some areas that are starting to shut down again. So some of the resellers can't get out and source. So we're doing, they're putting together another big, huge auction uh, to give uh, resellers that can't get out and source an opportunity to get some sourcing and to get some stuff to put out for the holidays. So look forward to that one. Uh, I'm probably going to be doing at least one auction with them, if not trying to get a couple of time slots myself. Oh, that's cool, those. Lori. Yeah, maybe it was a Santa's hat. Yeah, yeah, the Santa yeah that, hats, that's what it those was. Were cute. Those were cute. She says it's the Santa's hat that came right afterwards. So, yeah. Take the banner down. I don't know how to hide my banner. Banner. Thank you. <laughs> Get your feet down. Right now, he's trying to take his banner I'm, down. I'm trying to figure out how to take down the banner. Oh, look, I see. I don't know if I banner. can. No, that's behind the scenes stuff. Mm. I'm not sure how to do that. Okay, we'll figure it out for the next one then. Right? Yep. So that's the lot we got from Here. Lori. So we really appreciate it. Um, that there, now you can see fun. his face. Yeah. Yeah, he let you stand up. Now he's going to be cranky. He's going to try to reach. Oh, he's going to try to grab everything. So um, for those of you guys that have uh, not heard, um, um, I don't know if any of y'all don't know or not, but Danny May has been really, really sick. Uh, you know, Danny's been a really good friend to us. She's, you know, she and I chat every once in a while, um, not just in chats on YouTube, but actually on the phone. And uh, she's been really, really sick. And they've been having a lot of issues, not only with her health, but then their their uh, RV that she's living in broke down and they've been having some issues. Um, so if y'all haven't heard, um, they are doing a charity auction for her and her family tomorrow. And I wanted to give them a shout out and let everybody know about it. So um, right there is the link to the auction where y'all can check it out. It's going to be at 6 p.m. Central time tomorrow night. Uh, so I really, really recommend people want to uh, support her and her family. Go ahead and go check out their auction <coughs> tomorrow evening. I'm probably going to be over there at least for a little bit, see what all's going up and see what we can do to help them out. <clears throat> uh, she's been oh that means I have to watch the channel and she's been in a big part of the community. Uh all even though she's not really a reseller, she doesn't do a whole lot of reselling. She's still very active in the reselling community uh right. here on YouTube. She supports everybody's channels and so I think everybody should you know do a little bit to help her out. 
Um, even if you just go and watch and, you know, join in the chat and whatever, at least, you know, there's the link so that people can check it out. I told her I would let people know. But <laughs> will you stop trying to put your feet up on the – he's trying to put – y'all look at this. He's got to kick his feet up on the table. <laughs> And he's pushing me at the same time. He doesn't want me yeah. to wear close to James at the moment. <laughs> what? Wee! Go back to mama. Hey. So yeah, that's for that. Danny May, for Danny May's adventures. Uh, you can also check out Danny May's channel. I've got her link right there. Oh, he wants you. Hold on, he's in the middle of something. So Danny May. So the auction for better. the ball is for Danny May's adventures and for her family. And then there's Jen, Danny May's channel. Uh, we really want people to help them out and to support them. Um, so. He smells like hamburgers. What? He wants you. Yes. I love you. He too, doesn't get to see James a lot. So oh. this is like the most he's seen him. So me? now he wants James. He no, want he's me. had me several times. It's just he's constantly on me. Look at this diaper right here, guys. It's what easy. would you do if I had a job and I wasn't uh, home all the time? What would you well, do? Well, you would then? be home by 10 o'clock. Mm. I hope I would hope. I don't want you to work late hours like he was. He was working some late, late hours. Well, right. I, when I worked at the prison, I worked night shifts for a while. So I mean I spent yeah, he spent a lot. He was three, not a happy two camper. and a half, almost three years working night shifts. So yeah, the stuff he does for our family. There goes his foot and a again. Job that I hate. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah that a job up. that he hates. Now both of his feet are on the counter. There we go. Now we're ready. We're relaxed. Look, now he's clapping, guys. Thank you, Susan. <laughs> Thank you, Susan. So, um, what are you looking at? Did y'all show? Did you say that you were also going to show all those pins, the other pins? I only saw the the lots of. Didn't we get more pins than that with like Christmas trees and? There's a whole bunch of pins. I didn't pull them all out. Oh, okay. I, was I just showed say, off some the of those ones. Pins are really nice. Some of them are really nice. I haven't done all the research on all of them. I said that earlier. So we got the mini mouse in the big plush mini mouse in, and you should have seen what it yeah, came. Yeah, we saw. James didn't think that the Minnie Mouse could fit in what they put it in. Well, I, I kind of, when I saw that big, huge bag, I thought that's all that was in it was the Minnie Mouse. I didn't realize all the plush was in that one bag. I told him I thought I've got to learn how to pack like that so I can get stuff into tighter spaces like that. Because yeah, that's one I of told the things him that that's, that's been killing me is shipping. Yeah, oh, so you, you know what? One now? one day we should we should get everybody that knows y'all the shipping. The shipping little tricks and stuff. We all should go online and kind of give. Uh, yeah, that's shipping what I heard, tricks Tina. The... So yeah, I think they're doing an open link thing, and so <laughs> I've probably got some stuff I'm going to put together tomorrow, so that I've got some lots that I could offer up for sale to help out if I can. <laughs> <coughs> of course, you know, even Danny said she doesn't want anybody else. If somebody's in a bind financially, she doesn't want them to put themselves into a further bind. Uh, but if you can, what you can do to help out, uh, please help them out and support them because they've supported all of our channels a lot. And uh, even like when I was gone, when I wasn't even on YouTube watching, she called me on the phone and kept me kind of up to date on what was going on behind the scenes so that I know what was, a little bit of at least about what was going on on some of the channels while I was away. Now he's playing past the baby. Yeah, you're just wanting to pass back and forth. Yeah, I think they should sell nicely too, Lori. Some of those, though, <laughs> again, are going to be given away as gifts. Some of them, but on most, we will be, we will. Yeah, some of them sell uh, that the Santa Claus. That's why I wanted to show that Santa Claus one. I don't know. I think you might have missed it, Lori. I'm not sure if you were here when we showed that one. Where did it go? Did it make it back in the box? I hope so. Yeah, there it is. That one right there. This one is a rare one. It's hard to find. It's the Santa Claus from the Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, the only comp I could find for it was about fifty dollars. 
and that was listed price. It's not a sold price. I couldn't find any sold comps on it at all. And I not I don't just limit my search to eBay either. I was looking at other sites. I could not find sold comps on this particular pen. I could only find listings for it, and they were all listed around forty-five to fifty dollars. Uh, um, Lori, I don't know if he uses Pirate Ship. Yes, I I use Pirate Ship. But some packages get so big that even pirate ship gets expensive really, really quick. Uh, but yeah, I, I do pirate ship on almost all of my packages. 90% of the time I save money. Even if it's a dollar or two, I'm still saving money on pirate ship than I am over, say, eBay or uh, PayPal's uh, shipping costs. Since we're still talking about Christmas in July. The only, well, okay. yeah, I'll be back over there in a minute. The only downside I have with Pirate Ship is Pirate Ship only does USPS. So if I want to ship UPS or FedEx, which is sometimes cheaper than even uh, Pirate Ship's USPS price, I have to go somewhere else. And for that, uh, I use Shippo. It's S-H-I-P-P-O. And that's where I go for UPS and FedEx. And sometimes they're cheaper to go those routes, especially if I've got big, huge boxes uh, that weigh like 40, 50 pounds. Usually uh, UPS or FedEx is cheaper than UP USPS, even through pirate ship. Hello, lobster. Long time to see. Hope you're doing well. You missed my unboxing, so you'll have to go back and watch the beginning of the video to uh, see what we did there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there is, Lori, a big following for the Nightmare Before Christmas. I know like three or four people alone who like a lot of Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. Yeah, we've got some of our family members that like Nightmare Before Christmas. And I know a lot of people that like that stuff. So mm -hmm. it's a really popular movie. Uh, it is branded. It's even marked on the back with the artist's signature that made it. Um, and that's part of why it's a rare find. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna probably get people upset, but I really didn't like the Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> I mean, some I people do, some people don't. That's I didn't. Okay. I thought it was kind of. But I mean, I I mean, I I as an artist, I I think it was you know it was decent. I mean, I could see the artistry behind it. I just didn't like it. So I'm not a big fan of the Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah. But it is what it is. Some people are gonna like it. Some people aren't. So. You know, that's but I would watch it. I mean, it's not one of those that I wouldn't watch again. It's just I'm not a big fan of it. Just what's he getting into? Paper stuff. I'm like, I got it right here. Okay. I can see what he's doing. Well, I just want to make sure because there's stuff over there. That's well, I know not safe for him to get into. Well, I know that's why I got stuff over here. That why I never let him come in here. This is my work room. Well, don't worry, I took care of that already. So, right, we took care of that already. Yes, I we don't did. want him to get something that. Swallow something small. So, well, we also have a lot of stuff. Um, I cl also cleaned out a bunch of stuff on my eBay store. Um, one of the things is some of the stuff that we uh, sold because y'all have seen what my mess is in my storage. So when I was doing the Christmas in July auction, some of the stuff did come out of some of the stuff I could get to in my storage, but a lot of the stuff came off of my eBay shelf. It came off of stuff that I had already listed on eBay. So I had to go through eBay and uh, take down all the listings on all the stuff that sold. And so now my eBay store is down to about 60 items. So I've got to get on the ball and get a bunch of listings. Uh, we got a bunch of uh, sports cards that we're going to try to just flip. Uh, I'm going to be putting those on auction. We're going to be going through these pens and stuff that we just got. We're going to be selling some of those on eBay and getting and doing a lot of listings. You love creepy animation like that? I don't, oh. but I do. I won't say that I didn't like some of the way that they did, you know, like the presents and stuff. Or, you know, I won't say that I didn't like some of that. I just don't. I'm not into a big, I'm not into creepy stuff. Um, that's part of the, that's probably part of the reason. I, I like Halloween, but I like dress up my Halloween, not in all gore. I use like, I'll do the witches. I'll do the spiders. I'll do the cute little ghost and pumpkins and stuff, but I won't get all gory with my Halloween. So. Yep. So one of the things that we've been uh, 
toying with for a while and I still haven't decided on it yet. I'm actually talking to some other YouTubers and some uh, people that teach about that teach other creators uh, about it today. And I'm still trying to decide if I'm going to do it and if I do do it, how I'm going to go about doing it. Uh, but I am looking at uh, changing the name of my channel. Uh, because, and the reason why is because, you know, Jessica's even mentioned this since shortly after I started, which is kind of, I pigeoned myself into this storage scavenger and specifically focusing on the storage. Um, and I'm not, back then, that's all I was doing was just storage units. Um, after, you know, some time and I started getting involved with other channels and she loved doing garage sales and that kind of stuff and going to the thrift stores. I hate garage sales and <laughs> ideal was going to the thrift store at time, but you know, some of my more popular videos were my thrifting videos, not necessarily my storage unit videos. Um, so I'm looking at making a name change. I'm still going to keep the scavenger, but I may remove the storage part and, uh, put something else in there. Um, just an idea I'm toying with because I'm still scavenging. I'm still going to be scavenging. It's still the treasure hunt. And that's something I got. I want people to realize is yes, we, we do resell the stuff that we find to a point. Uh, but I'm more, I like the treasure hunt and that's what it's about for me is the treasure hunt. And the, the reselling is a necessary evil that I have to do in order to uh, make all this work. Um, so yeah, yeah, Lori, uh, we do Marketplace, too. Facebook Marketplace, I do actually have, in fact, uh, I don't know if you saw yesterday's video that I put out. Well, you commented on it, so I'm sure you saw at least part of it. Um, the, the mirror that I showed in the very beginning of that, that's going up on Facebook Marketplace. In fact, I had all the photographs and stuff for that. Now it's all cracked. It's all my phone. <laughs> So I've got to uh, well, redo okay. all that. That's okay. Henry retake photos. He's got my phone, but he better not break it. Yeah, yard sales. I mean, you can find some good stuff at yard sales, but I can look at. I mean, look at what I found when I went to those yard sales, and you've already. I found. Oh, do you want me to show him the pretty barrettes that I found? She got. Uh, yeah, she's got all kinds of jewelry and stuff. We got like. A ton of jewelry. Uh, it's all costume jewelry, but we got a ton of, and it's some really nice pieces of jewelry. Yeah, here, let me go show. That, you. Uh, let me go show them. We got from a garage sale for like what twenty bucks for the whole lot, something like that. I bought more than that, but yeah, that was included in the. That was included. It was twenty. It was twenty-seven dollars for everything that I bought. Oh. Well, see, but I hate shopping in general, Marie. I don't even like going to the grocery store. I mean, I'm just not a fan of shopping. I don't like crowds of people. The most crowds I hang out with are here on YouTube. And it's not, I don't mind being around people like here on YouTube, but being actually out and about in a crowd of people, it gets my anxiety up and it's just not a comfortable situation for me. Uh, no, I do not have them on auto backup. Oh, wait. I have them on That's manual why. backup, and I hadn't backed them up yet. He likes shopping only if it's for electronics or power tools, you know, men's stuff. Then he likes shopping. I am too, Lori. Most people, you would think, okay, is the way my personality is, the way I am out here on Okay, here's YouTube, one of the pieces, guys. And I sit here, and I'll talk to y'all for hours Can at a time. That? Yeah, but you're interrupting. I was in the middle of talking. Oh, sorry. But I'm actually a very naturally shy person until I warm up to people and get to know people. See that? Look at the quality of Look that. Look at those hair Gorgeous. Bricks. I've got a pink one, too, here. That one's kind of a teal color. I don't know. The color's not showing up, at least. That's that purple, not pink. Well, I say it's pink going to show up. Pink. That's purple. Oh, purple then. Those are some really nice hair clips. And that's just some of the jewelry that she found. I mean, she got some really, really nice pieces. That's pink. 
Yeah, a lot of people like that one. Not enough, because that one I actually had listed on eBay for months and didn't get any one. interest in it. But I also don't know how to list some of this stuff. Cause well, yeah, I don't, know I don't how think how you're taking good enough way. pictures either. Well, that was also with my old picture setup before There's I actually that had one a too. Who'd get... He's trying to grab everything oh, that we fine. got up there. Okay, got it. Especially the pink ones. Why do you have to grab everything that's pink? I gave... So, after yesterday's video, I gave him... A and I mentioned this in the chat. I gave him the Mickey Mouse, the smaller Mickey Mouse, not the big one. And we gave the little Minnie Mouse to my daughter. <laughs> so he hilarious. throws down the Mickey and goes and steals her Minnie, and he's been carrying it around. And anytime he lays eyes on it, he's got to go grab it. Yeah, he thinks it's his. He doesn't think it's hers. So I don't know why he's so fascinated with all the pink stuff. Thank you, Lori. I thought they were very nice, too. She says they're very pretty. They, those just sell nicely as stocking stuffers. Yeah, I found those at a garage sale. I could think I bought them for like a dollar for all three of them or something like that. They weren't very expensive. Yeah, we, but that was one of our garage yard sale finds. I mean, we got some stuff that has been really, really good and some stuff that hasn't done really well. Uh, some stuff that she bought that was broke. <laughs> Were they bundled together, Mary? No, they were not bundled together. Are, she says, are they, not were they. Oh, are they bundled together? This isn't a sale. We're just showing. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to turn my live stream into an auction right at the end. <laughs> they were up for sale. For yeah, I think, I think they should sell, but some of it, I've got to learn how to list some of this stuff so that it does get interest and get views. Cause I had like, I had those listed for several months on eBay just individually. And I was getting like four and five visitors to them after like four months. So I've got to figure out how to write those listings so that they get views. Um, and it's probably my wording because I don't know anything about jewelry. I don't know anything about hair barrettes. Cause as you can see, I don't have a use for them in my own personal life. No, I didn't have them bundled together. I was trying to sell them individually. Maybe I could bundle them together and get better results. I'm not sure. Um, and I thought about, you know, I tried to, I'm going to, I've got some other jewelry here. I can't get to it right now. It's kind of buried over in the corner over there. I have a whole bag, and it came with those. It was a whole bunch of jewelry that I got. Hi, Joy. Nice of you to join us. Thank you for coming in tonight. Um, you just missed my wife. She went to take the little one to bed. Yeah, it is a quicker and easier. It's a 50-50 because it's quicker turnover, and turn around to sell stuff on YouTube. That's part of why I do the YouTube auctions. On the other hand, I usually can sell it for more on eBay. And so that's what I do on some of the stuff, especially nicer stuff like that. I try to sell it on eBay first because I can get more money for it. And plus then, you know, I'll do it on eBay and I'll get more money for it. And then I also get shipping um, so that, you know, I can uh, not take so much out of my pocket on the front end. You had a birthday? Joy, when was your birthday? I missed it. So, I don't know if you saw my video yesterday, Joy. We got the plush light in. Thank you so much for jumping out of that auction and letting us win it. We really appreciate it. The babies appreciate it. They have already fallen in love with their plush. Even though it was supposed to be Christmas presents and I already gave it to him. Yeah, he messed up. Yeah, Jessica won't quit giving me a hard time about doing that. Well, he didn't think about it. He, I think he was just trying to show it. <laughs> I was trying to show it to Jessica and then decided we had to give it to the kids. <laughs> yeah. Well, one minute. Oh, today's your birthday. Ooh, happy birthday. For she's a jolly good fellow. For she's a jolly good fellow. For she's a jolly good fellow. That nobody can't. Oh, wait. I guess it's a fella. 
See, he's a jolly good girl. I would just say happy birthday. <laughs> I am not going to destroy the last minute of your birthday by subjecting you to my screeching. <laughs> Thanks, Joy. He should be asleep, but uh, yeah, he's not yet. He's refusing to go to bed. So oh, he's cutting teeth. He's been waking me up in the middle of the night, too. I don't get it. I, last few nights, I haven't had a good night's rest, thanks to him. So, oh, now show them these cards that you said you're going to have on auction, maybe. I can't get to them right now. Oh. They're across the board. They're <laughs> on my photo table. Oh, okay. I just thought you had some right there that you could kind of show them. No, these are the ones that, I mean, these are... Just a handful, but these aren't good ones. See, I got a bunch of Pokemon cards. This is just a small part of them, though. I've got, I've got a lot more that I've got to get them all together. Part of it too is I've got cards, and they're over here, they're over there, they're in that box over there. Some of them are still over oh, my storage my unit. Oh, but she never came on. She was looking. And then some of these, like. I got some of these like this one. It's in this hard Mama. cover. And I was like, oh, you know, they took Mama. time and put it in that cover. It must be worth something. And I looked it up. That card's worth 99 cents. Why they put it in a hardcore case, I don't know. She offers bundle shipping on her channel or flat rate. So if they buy a few pieces, I'll bundle together, even if it's over a couple of weeks. Oh, that's good. That's a good idea, Lori. That's a good idea. <laughs> Yeah, um, I'm I'm still learning on the whole auction thing, and I I see so many channels doing it. And part of why I check out everybody else's auctions is I'm kind of paying attention to how they're uh, running their auctions. Even if I'm not bidding, I'm kind of paying attention to how they're running stuff, so I can kind of decide what I want to do and how I want to run my auctions. Um, I've got a bunch of costume jewelry and stuff that I'm probably gonna do uh, as individual lots and individual pieces. <clears throat> maybe do a few bundles with some pieces that kind of go together. Um, but basically selling it not as reseller lots, but as individual pieces and try to sell some stuff that way. Um, may do that with some of the pins too that we just got. But you better not sell them before you show them to me because he got in trouble. Well, yeah, that's why I'm not listing any of this stuff until Jessica has a chance to go through it. Because with... he got in trouble because he kind of sold a couple oh. of things that uh, I had wanted to keep. Yeah, I didn't know. <laughs> some of the stuff that I threw into some of my Christmas slots was stuff that she wanted to keep. So he kind of got but... himself in trouble. <laughs> but that's okay. It got it out of my way, so I'm happy she's not. <laughs> No, I was not because there were a couple of really nice pieces that I wanted to keep. I hate waste money on supplies and shipping. It does save money for both parties. Well, that's always a good. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out ways to save money on shipping supplies and shipping stuff. Part of it too is I need to start buying shipping supplies, but I need a place to store it where I can buy some shipping supplies in bulk, though, and stop. Because like most of my shipping supplies is me going to Walmart and buying stuff there off the shelf. <laughs> And I know that's the most expensive way to buy shipping supplies. What? My goodness. He's saying he wants to talk to you. Come here. You want to see everybody, huh? I think he wants to see everybody. Look, he's saying hi, everybody. Look at he that. He can see himself in the camera, so now he's trying to wave at everybody. He's also, he's <laughs> recently discovered himself in the mirror, so he sits there and dances in the mirror and waves at himself. Oh, and he likes he wants daddy's hat. <laughs> he likes daddy's hat. He likes to put it on his head. What are you doing? <laughs> you look like a, a like a, I don't know. I can't decide what right now. You silly monkey. We should do like what? a where's a where's You're a, showing off yes. my hat head. Oh, and put it over my face. Yeah, it is arms workout night. Let me say tell you. Thank you, Joy. <laughs> he's a he's a toot, that's for sure. Yep. He's got a very strong will. Very, I think he takes after James there. <laughs> now he's trying to put it on his head. <laughs> but he doesn't get that it goes on top of the head, not over his face. And it's funny because the stuff that's supposed to go on his face, he puts on top of his head. He plays peekaboo. He puts his hands on top of his head and goes, peekaboo. So store scavenger, you're going to keep scavenger, but maybe change your name. Anyone have some good names out there for storage scavenger? I've been brainstorming some name ideas, some of the uh, uh, thoughts I've had 
on how I'm going the logo's to still going to stay the same. Yeah, guys. the logo's still going to stay the same. I'm just going to rewrite the name on it with the new naming. My email's still going to be the same because Google won't let me change that without starting a whole new channel. And I'm not starting a whole new channel at this point. I've right. got way too much work into this one. Um, that being said, it might slow down my channel growth just a little bit for a few weeks while the algorithm picks up my new branding and my new change. Uh, but the main reason why is because I'm not just doing storage units now. And I, I don't want to be pigeonholed into just doing storage videos because, I mean, I'm spending less and less time in storage units these days. Uh, just because Scavenger of the situation seller. and the way everything is. Mm, nah. Because I'm, I, and this is one of the things I was talking about earlier. Selling <laughs> is really a necessary evil in what I do. It's not necessarily the focus of what I do. Maybe scavenger's it's, treasures. It's, well, I was thinking about scavenger's treasures is one of the ideas I've had. Uh, scavenger's journey, which is just me documenting my own journey in scavenging and my own journey in mm, growing my like business. Um, I was looking at scavenger's hauls um because i i mainly use it to showcase the, what i find while i'm scavenging <clears throat> treasure scavenger i hadn't thought about that but that's a good idea too i might look at that one Yeah, well, see, that's actually, you know, one of the things that I'm actually looking at is one of my expansions for my channel that I'm wanting to do. I'm wanting to go do some dumpster diving, and we've been talking to some people about it. You know, we've talked to some people that I've we know it. that do it. I Jessica's it. done it in the past. With I've never mom. done any dumpster diving. I uh, but that's like, you know, stuff like that. Thrifting, garage sales, estate sales, dumpster diving. You know, I'm, I'm kind of branching out into all these different things and kind of expanding my adventures and what i'm doing so that's why i was like you know maybe we should you know change it away from storage scavengers and get the storage part off of it especially because since I'm, are... I'm not just doing storage units especially with storage units like storage units around here they're starting to come down to decent ranges from time to time but since the pandemic and everything shut down our storage units have been astronomical i mean units that a year ago, eight months ago, we were paying fifty, sixty, seventy dollars for. We're going for seven or eight hundred dollars. I mean, units that we units that high. we paid two hundred dollars for are going for a thousand dollars, and there's just no profit to be made in some of those units right now. So that's part of why we're staying away from storage unit buys because the ones that are available are just out of my price range. Uh, the ones that are decent and that are worth spending some money on are out of what we have to spend. Buy supplies from Amazon and use pirate ship as often as you can. That's good to know. I haven't bought I've only bought a few yeah. things. I did, I did get some record boxes and some picture boxes off of Amazon. Um, I also used that, you know, I've got a the uh beginner level eBay store, so I use that uh credit every quarter and I get a lot of my tape and a lot of some of my boxes and poly bags and stuff through them. Um and yes, I will do YouTube auctions and send stuff out in eBay boxes. I do it all the time. <laughs> um, shipping labels, I buy those in bulk off of eBay. I got a place that I get them from where I can get like a thousand for like five bucks. I guess yeah, the unit prices hopefully will drop down some. And the other thing is, is with that money going away, more people are going to probably be losing their units. And one of the things, like, I know around here, because we, we talk with some of the facility managers. We have our own facility where we keep stuff, and I talk to the manager there uh, quite regularly. And I know one of the things they did, and a lot of the other facilities around here did, was they waived the late fees and basically did a forgiveness on people that were behind on their storage units um because of the pandemic and the lockdown and so many being people unemployed so there's 
a lot of units that would have been up for auction that didn't go up for auction because of that. Um, and now they're starting to go back up for auction more. That was part of it is there was a shortage of units available. So the few that were available were getting everybody that does storage units. There's a lot of people in this area that do storage units. I mean, when we would go to the store, the, the public auctions, there'd be like 40, 50 people there almost every time. Um, With the under you know, six hundred dollars unemployment units down going back down, they should drop again. Yeah, well, I hope so. Pallets are about to do that thanks to A and E tonight. I don't know what happened on it. We don't have cable, so I have no idea what shows on A and E. Yeah, me neither. Are they doing a pallet show now? I know that there's a lot of interest in the. The uh, pallets and stuff. We had thought about. I've I've thought about doing it. I've seen people do those pallets. I just don't know. And I would want to find someplace local where I wouldn't have to pay the extra for shipping because, I mean, shipping those things is you're doing crate shipping. You're talking about you know an extra two or three hundred bucks just to ship it. Sometimes I would like to do it, especially right before the holidays, because that would probably be a good time to do some stuff. If like you that. get a good pallet, yeah, it's great. If you don't get a good pallet and it's it's a crapshoot. You can't see at least with a storage unit. And this is the way I profile a unit. I get that door open. I can look in there and I can pick out some items. And you know, this is something that I learned from another YouTube channel that I don't associate with anymore, but I did learn some good things from this person. And one of the things is whenever I look at a unit, I find something that I know I can sell and make my money back. And that's where I'm going to cap out my bidding. And so far, the units that I've been buying, I've been able to at least make my money back because I'm picking a specific one or two items, and that's I know I can make my money back on those one or two items. And yeah, we have Goodwill auctions near us. Yes, we do. If they've got anything good and it doesn't go for astronomical prices. Yeah. And we do have a Benz near us. Sort of. It's about a 45-minute drive away. We've been there one time, and it was before we started reselling. Yeah, James hasn't gone back. So um, That place and, was a freaking zoo. Yeah, and he's he doesn't like being around all those types of crowds. And so. having to fight for the bins. And honestly, most of the stuff that we found was not that great. Well, that's because um, it had already been picked through, and we had already we left kind of late. You're, they, they tell us you're supposed to be there right at 8. To get well, good stuff. it depends because most of the bins, I mean, they were bringing bins out even while we were there. So it was stuff that hadn't been picked through, but still it was just, I don't know. I haven't been to the bins and most 90% of what they had out there was clothes. I don't know how many times I got to say it. I hate listing clothes. It takes way too long. And unless you get some of the really high end clothes. Now, if I get something for, you know, a couple of bucks, that's worth Two or three hundred, great, but I haven't had that yet. Most of the stuff I've come up with is, you know, twenty, thirty dollar items. Mm, and you come to up me, with a few hundred, but not a lot of hundred dollar items. I, I mean, look at those any... shoes that you goodwill and sell. What about that? That was one pair of shoes. And what about shoes the... is different than say Pictures. shirts and pants oh, and well, clothes. Yeah, I said clothes. Oh yeah. Clothing, like pants, shirts, stuff like that, because you have to do all those measurements. That are because even if it's sized, you can't trust the sizing because what if somebody had it altered? So you still have to do all the measurements, and I hate doing it. It just it's not worth the time for me to list something for 10 or 15 bucks and take an hour, an hour and a half to list it. Yeah, that's true. That is so true. Okay. So, That's why I auction off most of the clothes I find because you know there's still some money to be made and some people don't mind doing it and that's fine if they they want to do that that's great that's why I offer clothes available on auction but for me it's not worth my time to do it that way when you know I could better spend that time doing something else that's going to be a little more productive. <sighs> Well, Jesse is having a blast. Well, yeah, there. but the, the whole reason they do so well on YouTube is because they're going to other YouTubers that are reselling or other 
other resellers. It, the majority of the clothes, at least that I've sold on my YouTube auctions, have been going to other resellers. And that's what I do. And, you know, the other thing is, and I learned this from Donna, you know, because of doing the storage units and dealing in mass volume, when I'm doing storage units, and this is kind of the difference between storage units versus going thrifting. When I'm going to thrifting, I'm trying to maximize my profit on the stuff that I thrift. I'm picking out a few items and I'm going to try to maximize what I can get out of it. When I'm doing a storage unit, I'm buying in bulk and I don't have to maximize my profit in order to make some decent money because, you know, with a storage unit, I might spend, you know, even a small unit. I've, I've got units that I spent five, 10 bucks on, but I've got, even with 90% of the unit being trash, I've got a hundred items I can sell. Yeah, bins are good. I mean, we've been to the bins one time. And again, it was before I started reselling. We should probably go again now that I'm reselling. Part of it too, though, is... I need to learn more about what I'm looking for if I'm digging through looking for specific things to resell. Again, when I buy a storage unit, I buy on mass and I find one or two items I know I can make my money back on, but it's kind of a crapshoot. It, it's a risky business in that you don't know what you're getting in all those hidden boxes. That's part of the fun for me is digging through boxes to see what I find, but it's one thing to dig through the boxes at my leisure in my storage unit versus in a mad dash of fighting tooth and nail against other people to find what's in those bins. Yeah, James usually has me pick out the, the anything out of the bins because he says I'm really good at it. And our thrift stores, I have gotten really lucky. I, there's a video on my channel and the picture is uh my thrift store find is something about thrift store finds but it's actually the the thumbnail has a picture of a wolf on it that picture of a wolf i found at a thrift store it was a total crap shoot i got it for i think five bucks at our goodwill I something think like he, that i think he charged it but... and i i was just taking a total crap shoot now i looked at the picture i thought it was a beautiful picture and i thought if nothing else i want it for myself <laughs> which is why i bought it but then I started researching it and I found out that this was an artist that had passed away. It was a limited edition print. <laughs> and so I listed it on eBay for $100, $99.99 plus shipping. And when I got up the next morning, it was sold. It was a total crapshoot that I did that well on that picture. You and know, he was afraid to put it at but nine, that's, 100. I've had a couple of pictures that I've sold on eBay that I've gotten and made some decent money. I had another one that it didn't do as well as I thought it should, but it sold for 50 something, 60 something like that. And that one was another one. We got it for like 10 bucks at Goodwill. But then I've gotten other pictures at Goodwill that we paid like five bucks for it. And I, if I'm lucky, I'll get that when I sell it. He's wanting you, but I got a good Christmas gift this this uh, <clears throat> this uh, today. I came home to I, I got out of my room because Jesse had taken a nap and came out to a big old box sitting in my living room. And I'll tell you, it did not come from an auction. I did not. This is something it that didn't I, come from me either. It didn't come from him either at an auction. It was actually something originally that I purchased back in 1994, six, something that like that. That was not really a Christmas gift. It was a Christmassy box. Yeah. Well, but it, it had some really a gift vintage things in it. there. I already owned it. I had just given it to my grandmother to keepsake for me until she passed away or there were some unfortunate events and then the unfortunate events passed. She's still here with me, but um, she's just got Alzheimer's. So I needed it to bring my my stuff back to me but basically it was an animated <laughs> mr and mrs santa wow. claus very beautiful with burgundy their their clothing is in burgundy so they're animated no. and they move so anybody that's out there y'all know those things are worth a lot of money not the blow molds although some of those can go pretty good too i think i've got a couple of blow molds but uh it was really interesting because they I were still in the original box one of them was still in the yep. original box so 
Now, I would not say that thrifting is hard. You have to know more of what you're looking for. That's why I go to Bolo Buddy's show every week. Every once in a while, I've shared a couple of my bolos that I have found myself. Um, but most of the time, I'm just there listening and watching and learning. And I've had some luck, and I've saved some money by watching some of her re uh, recorded videos as well. Because, like, she did her Pyrex video. I don't know if y'all saw Bolo Buddy's Pyrex video. Um, but she did a video about Pyrex and which ones oh, to cute. buy and which ones to avoid. And luckily I had watched that video because I found a bunch of vintage Pyrex and it was one of the ones to avoid. And I had seen her video like the day before. So I knew not to buy that Pyrex because I was like, Ooh, Pyrex, Pyrex. And it's vintage. And then I went back and I looked at it and I looked at the pattern. And I was like, no, that's on the do not buy list. And sure enough, I went back and watched the video afterwards. And sure enough, that one was one of the ones that, it was, yeah, and whether they had it priced, I wouldn't have made any money on it. I mean, it would have been, I might have taken a loss on it by the time I did it. You break. know what? Mine too. In fact, my, my, um, my, some my, of the stuff my, that went on for Christmas my, actually came out of my, my lot, my, 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 my lot of my, Christmas my. stuff. Um, James, around November, December, November, December, bid it on a storage unit. He saw it and he thought of me because he knows I love Christmas. Now, those of you guys that do storage units or you follow the storage unit business, what's one of the first things everybody says? Do not buy managers, specials, non-lean units. It was a manager special. This was a non-lean unit. Actually, it wasn't a manager special. It was a private seller. Mm -hmm. uh, but it was all Christmas stuff. Where people screw up on these uh, non-lean units is they overpay for stuff. Again, yeah. I profiled the unit. I kind of had an idea what some of the stuff in there was worth. I paid $60 for that unit. And guys, it, it filled my van. I mean, this was before I had the trailer. My van was packed, floor to ceiling, front to back. Every inch I could squeeze into that van. Wasn't to get that it all so in there. sweet of him? He bought me a, a and I mainly unit bought Christmas. it because so. she loves Christmas stuff. And it was this was in like November of last year, so it was right before Christmas. She loves Christmas stuff. We kept probably a quarter of the stuff out of the unit and sold the rest of it. In fact, the yeah, I got some the, really stuff and, the and ornaments we, and the Christmas lots that I put in was stuff out of that unit. Yeah, and it was actually bought, bought and paid for what within the first twenty four hours. Yeah, uh, you know I mean, was? within the first twenty four hours, just talking to people that we personally know, calling family, some of our nurses, different people in our community and in our that around stick our home. Um, that came out of the unit because I cannot reach that stuff. Oh wait, yeah, I can. This is just an example Absolutely. of one of the things that came out of that unit. This is one of the few pieces I have left. I'm actually still trying to uh, find out some information on this thing. This is a candlestick. I think it's Baldwin. It was in a Baldwin box, but I cannot find any markings on the actual item to uh Those cherries or glass? Bottom. They're the actually cherry. acrylic. Acrylic cherries. Then. Yeah, that's a, like the uh, resin stuff that I do. The the, okay, well, they're acrylic cherries, but they look but really are, pretty. These are acrylic cherries, uh, but it, I think that's pewter, but I'm not sure. Again, I don't have any markings or anything, but that is a, I mean, it's a heavy-duty, solid piece uh, cherry tree, and it's a candlestick holder, so it gets a big candle on the top. Yeah. Um, that was actually one of the pieces that, um, had I done any more auction lots... Would have gone up at auction. Donna's. That was one of the ones that I had uh, that was going to go yeah, up for sale. Yeah, we believe it is pewter. <laughs> I think it's pewter, but I can't guarantee it because I don't have any markings on it at all. And I can't find any comps for it. I have been searching the web for almost a year, looking every which way and every different search configuration I can think of, trying to find it. But look at that. Look at the detail on those leaves. I mean, it's got the little veins on those leaves. It's got the cherries on there. It's a very, very nice, well-made piece. This is not a cheap piece. Um, 
I don't even know where to price something like that, honestly. I would think that it would have to be at least $20 to $30. And that's at auction prices, hoping I get a good bidding war going on. So that's probably one of the pieces that I'm going to be putting up for auction one of these days. It ain't going to be no $20. <laughs> I'm good at pricing things, though. Too. <clears throat> yeah, but you want to start the auction. Oh, no, yeah, we'll start. We'll probably start the, the auction about $20. Yes, yes, $20. Uh, One of the things with auction is? prices, if I'm doing an auction, it also depends on where I'm auctioning. If I'm auctioning somewhere like T and Donna's where uh, shipping is included, I try to guesstimate what it's going to cost me to ship it. I go a few dollars over that so that I've got a little bit of margin, and that's where I start my bidding. I'm not doing those auctions to maximize uh, what I'm making off of them. Did you use a reverse image search? Yes. And I got everything I did when I did a reverse image There's search. There's nothing on there. Um, no, I did get results, <laughs> but it was all plants, actual plants, not mm. metal plants. Yeah, and that was a private seller that we got that from. So there was a lot of nice pieces inside that that uh private seller lot that they tell you to yeah that was on. a private seller storage unit i got it for 60 bucks that's what i was saying earlier where people screw up on those uh private sellers it's not that they're all junk and it's not <laughs> that they're bad units it's people overpay for them on a regular basis people buy stuff because they think they see something that's worth a lot of money and it winds up not being worth a lot of money that's not the seller's fault I got this lot for 60 bucks. And like I said, I didn't even sell maybe five or six items out of the unit and made my money back. Oh. Ruby Lane and replacements.com. I have replacements. I don't know Ruby Lane. I'll have to look them up. <clears throat> I have uh, replacements.com. I have worth point. Um, those are some of the places I look. I look. I also look on eBay, Macari, Poshmark. Uh, I look on all the sites that I can get on whenever I'm trying to look up those comps. I even go into Pinterest and look into Pinterest to see if maybe I can find something similar because a lot of people post their images on Pinterest to kind of drive some traffic to them. Yes, Joy. In fact, that's what I was just talking about. That's how one of the things I've done to try to research this. I've taken the pictures of it. I posted them trying to do a search for that picture. And I couldn't find another one. It's a one of a kind. What can you say? I don't know that it's, it's one of a gorgeous. kind. It's, but it's a gorgeous piece. It's a gorgeous, I have gorgeous another piece. One. I mean, the internet is not even giving it justice. I mean, I've even... Just all I've got another piece and I don't have it here. It's over in my storage facility, but it's huge and yeah. it's heavy, but it is salt stone and it's a carved uh, replica of the Taj, the Taj Mahal. Mahal. And it was in with, I guess they thought it was Christmas because it's white, but it's the Taj Mahal, which is Indian. It has nothing to do with Christmas. Um, and it's made out of salt stone, and I, I it could and you be can put hand a light carved. I don't it. know. It's absolutely gorgeous, but it's heavy because it's a, it's stone and it's carved out of stone. Um, beautiful, beautiful piece. And it's you a can gorgeous, put a light gorgeous piece, it. but it's going to be expensive to ship it if I sell it online. I'm probably going to post that on Facebook Marketplace, but I haven't yet. I've got to pull it out of my storage and put it all together and get it photographed. It's a beautiful piece. It was absolutely and if you put a, a light underneath it, it'd and... light up pretty pr beautiful too. Yeah. Because it's got the little light thing for it. And then I also have a disc set. It's, uh, they say it's crystal with gold rim, but I did the clink test and it doesn't sound like crystal. It sounds like glass. What was it? Hello, flipping flamingos. How Hi, are y'all doing flamingos. today? Hey, I don't know. You uh, just got here. Um, I got it real close to the top here. That Santa Claus flipping flamingos comps on it are running about 45 to 50 bucks. 
<laughs> That's most of what I paid for the whole lot in that one piece. Well, he said that he thought it was it might be worth some money, if I remember correctly, when he said it that time. So, um, anyways, what were we talking about? I got sorry. <clears throat> Oh yeah, we we're talking about so pictures we're talking about Christmas stuff. We're talking about you know buying a manager special. So if you're looking at a manager special, you got to realize it's a manager special. Uh, also, like on Storage Treasures, it can say manager special or private seller. I don't have a problem now. Manager specials are usually junk that they can't get rid of anywhere else. Usually, it's junk out of units that went no sale, all piled into one. Those I stay away from. But if it's a private seller, I've gotten some really, really good deals on private seller units. And a lot of people say stay away from the private seller units. The reason those private seller units, people lose money on them is because they overpay for them. It's not because they're bad units. I've gotten a lot of really, really good stuff. And the great thing on the private seller ones, at least the ones I've gotten, they pack it all up. I just go in and pick it up. Thank you, Flippin' Flamingos. We appreciate it. I've been researching all of these, too. These do pretty well. And, like, I like these because these, they're selling 5 to $7. But I've got seven of them. So if I list it one time, I can do one listing and sell all of them together. And then we got these, we got the two raccoons. Jessica and I are keeping those because, you know, I have the raccoon on my logo. That's the whole reason we bought the yep. lot was because we had the raccoon. We saw I these told up James, front. we're not leaving without buying this lot. And he was like, what? I said, he said, um, I said, James, you got to realize something about me. And he goes, what? I said, if I really wanted the lot, I will get the lot. I said, I will go up and, and the lot will be mine. Yeah, but she'll overpay for a lot just yeah. because she has to have it. Yep, I will. But um, I won't. I'll, I'll, I'll cut myself <laughs> That's off. if I really, really want it. But I do get a little bit a, a little bit conscious a little bit. Um, it also will depend on how much money we have or if I think I'm going to skimp a little bit and then put it towards the other one. But I really appreciate that. Joy did not. Joy dropped out, and she realized maybe. Yes, I'm glad she dropped book. out too, because what she doesn't know is we had already decided that was our final bid, and yeah. if we had bid one more time, she would have won the yeah, lot. Yeah, we did, because I overspent that, that 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 time. But Joy, thank you so much. The kids really, really love it. That's not something we were gonna, we were really gonna flip. I, I will say. And Jesse, uh, unfortunately, he didn't. He likes the Mickey Mouse, but he, Minnie's just really got him. Oh, he loves that Minnie mm -hmm. Mouse. He, we gave the little Minnie the Mouse one, to my daughter. Yeah, we gave the little Minnie Mouse to my daughter, and Jesse decided to steal it from her immediately. And he did finally put it down, but then every time he comes by there, he picks it up again. So I'm I am too flipping flamingos. I'm so glad that that we were able to. Um, we like I said, we over kind of overspent a little bit, but we're good. <laughs> oh yeah, we're doing good. I we're mean, doing good. I uh, mean, <clears throat> for those of y'all that just joined in, you're gonna have to go back to the beginning. I'm not gonna go back through Lori's box again. Um, Beautiful stuff. We got some really, really, really nice great pieces there, though. It's a lot of it's rose quartz. It's all every bit of it sterling silver. She did a really, really amazing job putting those together. That was some really, really awesome stuff. Uh, again, most of that stuff though is going to be Christmas presents. Almost all of it's gonna be given away to. Uh, friends and family and other people that we know uh, for Christmas. That was the yeah. Christmas in July auction joy um, that we're talking about. The Christmas the in Donna July, the, uh, the Disney Donna plush did. lot that flipping flamingos that you were bidding against us on at the Christmas in July auction with the big Minnie Mouse and the little Minnie Mouse and the Jedi Minnie Mouse or Mickey Mouse. Um, yeah, we, we were actually on our final bid. We weren't going to bid any more than what we had bid. And then you dropped out. So I got lucky. We we're, yeah, we were really happy because the, I, the little baby's really happy. Let's just say that. But the He's kids excited. love it. 
The, mm-hmm. We gave our daughter the little mini, the small mini mouse, and it which, talks. It yeah, talks, they, I don't the think they played it, but you squeeze the mini mouse and it talks. Um, she got like six or seven different phrases that she says, and they love it. The kids both love it. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, Jesse doesn't want to let go of it. He stole it off of his big sister. Um. And he calls he calls Mickey Mouse hot dog. So yeah, he even looks at the Mickey and goes hot dog, hot dog, because they have this song that's hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog that they sing on the show all the time. Yeah. And so he sees the Mickey Mouse and he goes hot dog, hot dog. He thinks it's the hot dog show. <laughs> it's the Mickey Mouse show. Oh, it's so funny. And then he likes to dance. He'll go like this, the kind of sort of dance. It's kind of funny. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes we find it hard to resist. We get so many, too. You remember what? The kids. Oh, the kids. Oh. Yes, yes. So, anyways, I think I think uh, y'all should leave in a comment what Storage Scavenger should change his name to. Yeah. So, Give him some ideas, boost his science. <clears throat> so, for those of y'all that have come in late, or those of y'all watching on the replay, we talked about this just a little bit ago. I am contemplating a name change because I don't just do storage units anymore. When I first started out, that was all I was doing and that was all I was going to do with storage units. Yeah. But now I've gotten involved in the community and the way storage units have gone in the last few months and stuff. I'm not just doing storage units. We do some thrifting. We do some uh, garage sales. We're doing some dumpster diving. It's one of the things we were talking about. You know, I want to start doing some dumpster diving and stuff. So I'm kind of spreading my horizon. I need to kind of get away from the pigeonhole of being the storage scavenger because I'm not scavenging just storage units. I'm still going to be the scavenger, but I'm trying to adjust my name to uh, something that I can resell Resell raccoons. (laughs) That's good. Now, I'm not going to be changing the old code. The only (laughs) thing I'm going to change is where it says storage and scavenger. I'm going to redo the text there. But I'm not going to redo the box with the raccoon. I'm keeping my raccoon box. Um, but I am uh, looking at a name change. So anybody that's watching this after this live, because we're going to cut it off here in just a minute. This is supposed to be an hour-long live stream. And once again, we've gone to an hour and a half and then some. Um, so after this live stream ends, go down to the comments and leave us a comment and let us know what do you think we should change our name to. Um, yeah. So we've already had a few suggestions. Um, uh, Treasure Scavengers was somebody else suggested. I was thinking Treasure, Scavenger, Scavenger Halls Adventures. or Scavengers Adventures or uh, Scavengers Journey, something like that. Um, but, you know, leave some suggestions on what we should change our name to. And we're going to be working on it's going to take me a little while because I have to redo all of my graphics. I have people I have to notify of my name change so that they don't get confused when I show up in their chats and at their auctions and start bidding and they don't know who I am. Uh, So it's going to be a little bit. It's not going to be an overnight thing for me to make this change, but it is coming and it's coming fairly soon. Part of it's I'm kind of at a point right now in my growth where I need to do it now if I'm going to do it, because if I get too much bigger, it becomes really, really difficult with YouTube for me to change my name. Hi, Adventures in Reselling. Adventures in Reselling. Hello, Victoria. How are you doing this evening, ma'am? I hey, hope you're doing well. I'm actually well. recognizing some of these names over here. Renee, you are which, Gerkman, right? Renee's Gerkman? Our Gerkman. Arkman. I kept on wondering. I kept on seeing, hi, Renee. Hi, Renee. But I was trying to see where Renee was coming from, and now I figured it out. So, hi, Renee. I'm sorry I didn't say hi to begin with. She bought some purses. No, wait a minute. No, I think Renee is uh, flipping flamingos. Uh, Rhonda is our girl. Oh, Rhonda. Oh, never mind. Sorry. I'm, I Excuse still get confused me. confused on everybody's name. He's, too, he knows so. everybody a little bit more than I do. Sorry, Rhonda. Yeah, Veronica, what are you doing up so late? You Renee, I'm sorry about that. You early morning show in the morning, so you got to go to sleep so you can get up and do your 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 uh, 7 o'clock in the morning show and wake us Who all does? up. Who does one? Uh Adventures in reselling. Veronica. Yeah, I don't ever get. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna make you laugh a lot more. Let me tell you, <laughs> I tend to do that a lot. Um, you should have. T- 
I don't know, stuff that comes out of my mouth. That's a lot of my friends will tell me you're really funny. And I never thought I was funny at all, but they said I am a trip. So yay, it's Renee at Flipping Flamingos. I did finally, James figured it out for me. It's Renee and Joe at Flipping Flamingos. Oh, okay. So, Renee, I just caught you on um, the Christmas in July for the first time. So I, I did, that's kind of why, I mean, some they of them also, I know, some of them I don't. Uh, now, for those of y'all that don't know, and I shared this link earlier, I'll share it again. Which one's Veronica? Adventures. Oh. oh, we went dead again. Oh, that's one of my other. Oh, okay. That was a picture I was working on. I know which one's <laughs> Veronica is. Hi, Veronica. I think he's flipping another link in there. For yeah, guys. I'm going to throw this link back in there uh, because Flipping Flamingos is here. Every Friday, so Donna May either. I know I'm gonna put it back I mean, in there. Danny, again. Danny sorry. Uh, every Friday, uh, Flipping Flamingos and Chris the Goose are auctioning with T over at Auctions for You. There's the Auctions for You's link. Um, they do some, both of them do some really awesome lots. T does some great lots. Um, I've done several <laughs> great auctions with T. Uh, uh, Victoria, I'm sorry, Veronica came Victoria. out. <laughs> <laughs> Victoria, Victoria I did not mean Veronica I am so sorry <laughs> We change your name It is now Victoria yeah. uh, I'm changing everybody's name today You're, You now have a new name So you are now Veronica whether you want to be or not <laughs> So and for oh those of goodness. y'all that are late To the party we talked about this earlier I know a lot of y'all already know about it I'm going to put it in here again uh, tomorrow night at 6 o'clock p.m. Central Time, they're going to be doing a charity auction for Danny May's Adventures. Um, and I think that's over at uh, Jason Thrift Traders auction site. And so I, I'm really, really suggesting everybody jump in and uh, support Danny May because she has done so much to support all of our communities. Um, she's been a really good friend to us. And um, reached out and talked to us even while we weren't here. Victoria no longer wear the crown for serial name killer. <laughs> <laughs> that would be me. <sighs> hey, she gets my name wrong and we're married. So what have I called you before? Let me see, Jesse, huh? Emily. <laughs> okay, but hey, when I was you. younger, I was not that way. Like, once you told me your name, I would know your name. That would be it, and we'd be good. So, Victoria, I will not forget your name. I might I have to ask you one more once or twice more, but after that, I should be fine. So, anybody's name who I haven't seen or recognized before, it takes me two or three times, and then after that, we're good. Bye, Flippin' Flamingos. Good night, Flippin' Flamingos. I'm going to be good. <laughs> It's Renee. Renee. Flipping Flamingos, Renee. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, that's good night, Flipping Flamingos. Y'all have a great night. Thank you for stopping by. We appreciate you guys. We appreciate your lots. We'll be checking y'all out on Friday afternoon. Um, and I'm fine check with out the Flipping Flamingos channel. I don't mind. You know, they did a really great job at the auction. Uh, I, that was when I first got to see them. I think I saw them. At the meetup that they had when I saw them in the background uh, when Robin and Donna were having their meetup uh, over there in Florida and Flipping Flamingos was there. No, uh, but that's when I first got introduced to them. So they're saying good night to Flipping Flamingos. Yep. Bye, so Renee. that's okay. I'm Bye, about Renee. to say good night too. It's a now hour. Yeah, we don't want to keep you. We don't want to keep y'all. We understand that y'all have y'all. Some of y'all have live streams tomorrow morning. We understand y'all have y'all have stuff to go. We're gonna try to do. I think this time works good. If y'all have any other times, why don't y'all list those times in there too? Besides George, you know what y'all would like to see. You know, as coming on. Um, is this it's, time fine with y'all? Or do y'all think we should start a little bit earlier? It's I mean, good because nobody else is on. <laughs> I think it's a good time because by that time everybody all the kids, but we can't stay this late. We can't stay this late. We'll just last for an hour and I'll I'll be you might see me going like this. Yeah, I will not be taking Robin's place and doing a four or five hour night live stream at one o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I I think I'd have I'd have to uh I mean every once in a while I catch her show and every once in a while I'm on there, but um 
Yeah, I do not usually stay up that late anymore. Usually. Joy, do you do a lot of Disney stuff? Do you sell a lot, a lot of, of Disney? Plush. Or is it just plush? She does like any kind of plush lot that you have. She's almost always out for the plush. Oh. Well. Okay. I, it doesn't matter She's what drowning kind of plush. in plush. Hey, some of those plushes are really nice. Some of the ones that we we uh, had were really nice. They may not have been named brand, but some, some of, of them were. were. Some of them were, but some of them that weren't were still nice. And it's funny because so. the, the most popular one that I had, I think, was that Fox one. And that one was not out of a storage unit. Well, I guess it sort of was out of storage. It was oh, yeah, his mom. Story. His mom was a hoarder. Big my time. mom, y'all got to realize, part of what got me started in scavenging and stuff is my mom's house when she passed away i grew up with her and she was a hoarder and she had everything and she always kept it in case she might need it someday but she never sold anything she never got rid of anything i mean we found when we went through her stuff we found stuff from the 1970s she and my dad married in 19 she had a whole collection of perfume bottles from uh the 19 avon, avon the old the avon old with avon the little puppy with dogs with the are the long all, i mean she had a whole collection cars. of the old avon pa- mm-hmm. um perfume bottles which i don't even know what happened to them they made hey that's what james story. says joy He's bought so much of everything there. He he has no way of ever getting it listed. That's, that's what why like. I do. That's why I'm doing auctions, and then I keep buying more stuff because I just I'm addicted it to sources. It doesn't help that his wife his wife uh, bought a whole bunch just recently too. <laughs> but there were some nice stuff out there. I mean, there really was. I had to keep I had to keep my uh, hands to myself to be honest with you. I mean, we found a lot. We saw a lot of great lots from different sellers. He's right. I could have easily um, spent a grand. Yeah, you know, easily I could have. And you know, I've seen some lots that just went really phenomenally well. And I saw some that I was just like, <gasps> Danny May's here. Oh. Look, Hello, we've Danny. been graced with Danny May. Yeah, you have missed it, Danny May. But I have been dropping your link to your Hi. auction tomorrow night, um, several times through here. So. I'll throw it in. There I one actually more time. asked about you, Danny May. Um, was it last week that I was asking you about her? I was asking about you, Danny May, and I was saying, "Hey, what's up with Danny May? I hadn't seen her in a while." We're all excited to see you. We're talking about you, but it's a good thing. Yeah, it was. It was all. How good. are you feeling, sweetie? I hope you're doing okay, or better anyway. So yeah, um, but we've been telling everybody to go check out your auction tomorrow and uh spreading the link around so hopefully we can get some people over there to get y'all some help i hope you and jake from state farm are doing well are you feeling better danny obviously if you're online you probably are i haven't seen you on a video in a long time i hope you're doing really good we got to get you in on one of our videos danny you're gonna have to come on live with us sometime when you start feeling better yeah when you feel a little bit better and you you don't feel we're so happy to see her. I'm so happy to see you. I, I really did miss you. I did, really did miss you, Danny, because I was like used to seeing you at least on every in the last couple of times. Um, I'm sure James will catch you up on everything um, about me and my health wise. Oh, yeah. But don't call me that. right now. His phone's broken. <laughs> Here's my cell phone right now. That's Emily, is, by the way. Yeah, that that's a picture Emily, of a free John of Emily. My, phone, guys. my messed up phone is covering it up. But there's my phone right now. I dropped it today. Yeah, his brother drew a 3D picture of Emily. It looked actually pretty good of her, to be honest with you. So, okay. So, let's get back to, to going. Oh, I'm so glad we got to see her before we, we totally signed off. That was yeah, a good. Sadly, Danny May, you showed up just as we were saying goodbye. <laughs> we were about to leave. We can keep it open a little bit longer for her. Well, we'll stay open for five minutes so I'll everybody can up. ask you questions and stuff. Okay? I'll, I will stay up on the condition that I can go get another cup of coffee. So I'll be right back. Okay. Because I've been on for like almost two hours and I need a drink. Okay. I'll give, give me something too. I'm going to make him get me something to drink, guys. I'm going to take scavenger seat. How does that sound? What? Yeah. He's telling me he's going to get me some peanut butter and jelly, and I told him I don't think so. 
y'all are people better glad that he doesn't uh y'all can't hear what he's telling me over here some of the stuff that he comes up with is some oh my gosh something else um yes thank you please it Um, I might ask you more about all that, or I'll have James explain that to me, Danny, a little bit. I know he, she says, we are okay. I won't get my transcranial Doppler test for a week and my a fib test. Is that where they're testing your heart? And we'll take three more weeks. Is that where they're taking, guys, is that where you're, they're taking your, your heart? Danny, me. I thought I thought I thought it was something like that, but I don't know. Um, well, I'm just glad to see you. Oh, okay, okay, that's fine. And he's back. Look at that. Oh wait, you don't see anything. <laughs> You're in the way. I can't get. In I, I've taken his chair, so he can sit right here. I'm not moving again. Oh, look, he even brought me a glass of. <laughs> I'm not ready. <laughs> hey, we make a good picture up there. You know that, right? I'll let you have it again in a minute. Yeah, we're definitely keeping you in our prayers. Like I said, we've been spreading the word about your auction tomorrow. We're going to be there. Um, so I hope that you get the feeling. Joy, better. it wasn't a Keurig. He broke his Keurig too. <laughs> I can't keep anything around. No, it's cold. I it. had a pot brewed before this all started. I just couldn't get out to get to it. Oh, so y'all should know this. Storage scavenger is very clumsy. Okay. So it could be that when he tells you he tripped and he fell, see. that he really tripped and fell and I didn't, he didn't land in my fist. You know, he probably really tripped and fell and landed in a door or whatever. Well, actually, um, I had a Keurig. We bought a Keurig. I was all excited. Had this nice fancy coffee pot. Within six months, our hard water had destroyed it. Yep, can't carry a Keurig, so we don't. We just I, went back to old-fashioned way. <laughs> we have really, really bad water here, and uh, unfortunately, we don't have a mm -hmm. water softener system, and. It just destroyed the water, just the calcium buildup and everything. And I tried to clean that thing. And I mean, I was able to make it last a little bit longer just by cleaning it and trying to do the stuff to descale it. But it just clogged up so bad within just a few months that it was just leaking and it was pretty much toast. Oh, where was I going to? I was going to show them the Daffy Duck that he broke. I mean, look what he broke. He broke his phone. That should tell y'all. He very, oh, and he can't, he can't uh, go without dropping his coffee either all over the floor either. So that, see that picture if y'all saw her? That was my daughter. Freestyled, see? Her uncle made the drawing of her. That's Emily. Yeah, I do that, Marie. I did that with my regular coffee pot too, but, and I did that with the Keurig, but it, it, it made it last a little bit longer whenever I did that, but. It eventually just got that'd to be the point great, where Victoria. Keep it going, Victoria. I'm making sure I'm not calling you Veronica again, Victoria. <laughs> um, thank you, Joy. I thought yeah, so that's too. actually a, a bad picture. that's view of it because of my phone being all screwed up. Yeah, but uh, so yeah, my brother is insane. And he can hear me say this. I don't care. I've told him this to his face. Um, <laughs> he's a very, very good graphic artist. And he refuses to do anything with it that would actually, like, make him a living. Because he can make a very, very good living in it. He's really, really good. And unfortunately, he doesn't. It's just a hobby for him. And he dabbles with stuff. But he does amazing work. He's done some logos and stuff for me in the past for some of my past uh, projects and past websites. He's pretty good. He, he does really amazing is. work. He does 3D graphics and all kinds of stuff. And just, I mean, I do some of my own graphic work here and there, but it's pales in comparison to his. And Well, from now on, know, I think we'll set it for like about this time and we'll go, if it's at 10, we'll end at 11. 
So I will definitely keep that schedule on. So we will not be here till like midnight. Like we kind of are right now. <laughs> well, like I try to do my auctions earlier because just by their very nature and the bidding and everything, an auction will tend to last two to three hours. Um, but for our just general live streams like this, where we're just chatting, um, we're probably going to be trying to kind of cut it towards an hour, not two. Um, I don't mind because I need to watch time right now anyway. Uh, but at the same time, that's true. It hurts my channel on the replay to have those longer live streams because nobody sits there and watches me ramble. And I'm definitely not going to pull a bad boys of reselling and go for a six hour longer live stream. Even though I appreciated it because that's how I got known on YouTube. Because at the time I first, when the bad boys are reselling, Alex, Fat Man the Flipper, opened up the bad boys are reselling to a viewer takeover. That's where I met Danny May. That's where I met Pirate. That's where I met Grimes. That's where I met Storage Stalker. I had mm -hmm. 34 subscribers. That was my very first time going on a live stream. And I had 34 subscribers when I jumped on. Because as soon as they said, hey, here's the chance. I said, there's an opportunity. I need to take advantage of it. I jumped on that stream. And then Pirate came on. He gave me some advice. He had some harsh words for me. But it was good harsh words. It was things that I needed to hear. Um, and it's helped me to improve my business. Um, Storage Stalker came on. And I didn't hardly talk the whole time I was there because I'm sitting here, you know, with that, uh, what do you call it? Um, oh, what do they call it when, you know, you get the celebrities and stuff? I was starstruck. So he didn't know what to say. Because I had spent all this time watching Storage Stalker, uh, Pirate. Yeah, I don't um, get starstruck, do I, James, too much. I think it I helps that I don't know who, who everybody is. On that aspect, because then I probably would. I'd be like, oh, it's so-and-so, and I don't know what to say to so-and-so. And um, so I guess that's where it's good on my end, where, I, you know, James knows more of every yeah. everybody than I do. But but we got but I am channel. getting to get everybody's names. Like, he's starting to listen to a lot of y'all. And I'll be like, oh, that's Pusa Studios. And I'll be like, oh, is that Donna that's on? So I'm starting to, to recognize Y'all, even though I don't chat with y'all, I'm able to recognize y'all as y'all are going live. So that's I've almost always got somebody on. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'll be in there washing Wade, dishes. I cooking, think Wade Adventures. Wade's too. Adventures. Mm -hmm. Um Grimes. Oh, um, our kids Victoria, love Grimes voice. Uh, Ecom and Beyond. I'm listening to Ecom and Beyond almost every morning while I'm making breakfast. Um but yeah, I got starstruck because I was, you know, that was when I was just getting started. I had 34 subscribers. I jumped on the live stream because I knew there was an opportunity right there. Yeah. And within a week, I had 250 subscribers. And we within thank everybody. We want to thank all of y'all for helping us uh, build our channel. It just, we really it just grew it. from there. But that's what got me. I went from 34 subscribers to 250 within a week. And it was all because Fat Man to Flipper opened that door. And because I took advantage of it. I mean, there was other people that were there that didn't take advantage of it. And fan they still girling. don't have this. <laughs> You're fangirling. Yes, I'm a fangirl. Yes. Oh, it's pirate. <laughs> oh, my God. I hope he doesn't see this. Oh, gosh. Well, who did I marry? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I have a spreadsheet to remember people. I probably should build one, Danny May. That's but, not Danny know, May. That's... um. Oh, that's a uh, Victoria. Victoria. I thought that was Amy. Same to you. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, he probably does. He can't remember names sometimes, unless unless he's been on with y'all a long time and he's starstruck. If he's starstruck, he'll remember you for life. So I'm not the starstruck one. That that'd be James over here. Yes, and I get a little crazy at times. It doesn't come across in my. Vi you would think that I'm bored all the time the way I look in some of my videos, but I'm really not. I'm really excited. And then it just does. I watch the video and I'm like, I look like I'm bored out of my mind. But I'm excited and I'm like, ah, all over the place. You do, Victoria. Hey, Danny May, I called Victoria uh, Veronica a minute ago, I think. 
Yeah, you call her Veronica. <laughs> I'm trying so hard not to say it. So uh, again, but I called her Veronica a minute ago. So they've named me the one that doesn't know how to who butchers everybody's name. Well, anyway, right. where I was going with that whole thing was I got invited onto that live stream. That live stream, guys, went for six hours long. It was the bad boys are reselling. This was back in November and uh of last year. And that live stream went for six hours. We stayed on till like two o'clock in the morning. And that's the longest live stream. I'm not doing any long live streams like that because they kill your channel in the replay. Because most people are gonna watch like maybe 15, 20 minutes of it and watch time. Not only do they just count the total minutes, but they do count the percentage of your video people are watching. So if you got a six hour video, people have to watch at least two or three hours of it to get a decent percentage of watch time. Right. That's true. Hey, so we have officially made it for two hours, two hours live stream. This is not my first. This is only my second live stream that's even gone two hours. Oh, yeah. The last time he did that, I was like, hey, we need to cut it short. Okay. Yeah. Well, actually, the last one that went that long, oh, was it, it was three because hours? it was supposed to be an hour. But then Grimes did a premiere and something happened with his premiere and it was late. Because at that time, I was doing a lot with Grimes and I was following his premiere. So I'd scheduled to go after his premiere was scheduled, but his premiere was late. So his premiere was still going when my live stream started. And so everybody was still over sorry, at guys. Grimes' channel. Yeah, everyone was at Grimes' channel. So when, when a, it but went then over. right when I was fixing to go ahead and just kill it and cut it off, Grimes' premiere ended and everybody came over to my live stream. And I just he shouted out my live stream at the end of his premiere. Yeah. And sent everybody over. And then he came over. So then everybody, so right when I was fixing to cut it off, everybody showed up and then we went for another hour, hour and a half. Yeah, that's I think that is what happened, right? If I remember correctly and this, but I, I told him we can't be doing that all the time, you know, cause when I stopped thinking about what to say and so does he, and he looks kind of bored after a while. Well, that's what we were about to say. I, that's what I was doing this a minute ago to James, uh, Vic, Victoria. Sly scavenger. Sly scavenger is a good one. <laughs> Rhonda. I don't know. Put that down on the comments. I'm not that sly. Uh, he's a, yeah. Put that all in the comments. I think we're gonna have to wrap it up for tonight, but we'll see you again on Thursday. Is it Thursday night? Oh, different sly, sneaky scavengers. Sneaky scavenger. I get what she's where she's going. Um, is it Thursday night that we'll we'll be seeing everybody? Yeah, I'll be doing another live Thursday night. I don't know what time yet, and I'm thinking I'm gonna try to do an auction on Thursday. Uh, but I gotta see if I can get some lots together and get some stuff that we can bring up for sale. Oh. Um, I will be showing some of the stuff that I showed tonight, probably. I'm thinking, um, but the first to the raccoons. raccoons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get that. We are watching. <clears throat> <laughs> Smart scavengers. So I can't be false advertising, Victoria. Hey, I don't know about you, but I'm smart. <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> if you say so i am anyway we love you guys i just Thank do you guys stupid for things out with us hey we people. are all smart right guys we're all smart but we all do stupid things and that is like the truth doesn't matter what it is you still do shut up you yes do. dear hey that's the proper this. marriage things to look, say i'm yes, not the dear. one that broke the phone hello I didn't say you were Stupid thing right there, see? And I consider you a smart guy, so. I wasn't even touching it when it got broke. <laughs> I set it down on the counter. I was across the Night, room guys. and it fell off the counter and broke. I like it. Y'all take care. See? I got y'all laughing again. Anyway, um, everybody have a good night. Some yeah. people are coming and going, I see, because we went down and down and just went back up. I know. So y'all must, must have started seeing some of the Anyway, y'all have a great going. night. Thank you guys for joining us. Again, if y'all are new here, Night if you haven't days. already, make Come sure you click the subscribe on Thursday button. if you can, if you're feeling okay. I sure would like to see you again. Night Joy, you too. You come and see us too. And thank you for everything. Thanks for letting us get that lot for the kids. I just wanted to tell you that. So, um, Rhonda, hopefully we see you too also on Thursday. If not, we understand. 
we'll, we'll come and see y'all whenever y'all are on. Victoria, I want to go and see y'all. You said you're on there tomorrow. Um, I'll uh, see what James is talking about. I think he says you have a morning show. So we'll, I'll, I'll actually be in there. So if James ever says, hey, my wife says, he really is. I am saying that. So I thought All I was right. going to know. Good night, night everybody. Y'all have a great time and we'll see y'all next time. Scavengers out.